Hi guys, Barry from Cobb vs Glass here, and if you use Final Cut Pro to edit and create your videos, you know that things like colour corrections are not as easy as you'd expect them to be. Final Cut Pro has a built-in corrections editor where you can edit things like your colours and your brightness and darks and saturations, but it doesn't exactly give you the results that you might want, and it's not incredibly in-depth. As I go into the color adjustments editor here and I select the color tab, you'll notice I've got a couple of buttons for global color, shadow color, midtones, and highlights. Of course, I can move these dots around and adjust them so I think my image looks correct, but I can never quite get the result I want, and that's because these controls aren't really designed to be as fine as you might think to edit the color exactly as you'd want and no matter what you do it's very difficult to get for example a perfect white using these controls so it kind of very much relies on you setting the white balance prior to you importing the uh, clip into Final Cut itself so here you can see I finished editing and it's a sort of okay result but you can see in a second after I show you this new cool tool that it's a lot easier to do to get a slightly more in-depth control over your color balance, we're going to go to this website, which I'm going to put in the link to the description below. What you're going to do is you're going to download the free software plugin for Final Cut on this website, clicking the link as shown here. It's called RT Color Balance Effect for Final Cut Pro X, and it's a really great way of getting those more granular controls that should already be in Final Cut, but have been added by a third party as we're going to see. These controls give you more in-depth uh, adjustments over color balance and will give you better results than the stock adjustments. Once you've downloaded the software, we're going to pop into Final Cut. You'll see that in your Customs Effect tab now, you have the RT Color Balance plugin. All you need to do is you simply need to select the effect itself from your panel and drag it onto the clip you want to adjust the color for. Once you've done this, you'll be able to see a new effects panel show up in your adjustment editor in the top right. Most of the time you're going to be going into the highlight section which is going to give you the most dramatic effect over things like white balance. As you can see this back wall on my image is supposed to be white. So what we need to do is we first need to crop the image so that we're only seeing the white section. This will just help us get a better idea of how we're adjusting the image to a closer white balance. These little blue toggles in the corner can be quite finicky sometimes, so you have to uh, sometimes click and drag a few times to actually grab the toggle itself. Once we've done, we can click done and we've now just select the white section of our image to use as a guide for the white balance. Next on your keyboard, you're going to press the Apple or Command button paired with the number 7. This will bring up the spectrometer to the image. This is essentially a graph that shows you a color spectrum uh, of how your image is looking and tells you how much of each color is included in the image. Now, of course, because we've selected the box that we have here, it's obviously showing a lot more red. So the first thing we want to do is move down the red slider in the highlight section until it's paired with the middle section. In this case, it's green. With the blue, we're gonna move that up so it matches the middle section. Essentially what you're aiming for is all three of these bars to be very, very similar, as close as you can to get them the same. We don't want to have them too high or too low because that could oversaturate or desaturate the image, so I find that around 75% uh, is about right. So you can see here, after I've corrected my image, I've got all three the same. What I can do is I can press Command 7 to hide that panel again. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to revert the crop factor back using the back arrow in the control panel on the side. And here we have it. This is our new color corrected image using this new plugin. You can see the difference by toggling it on and off from the old to the new. And you can see that it gives us a really great result balancing the whites perfectly so it looks like a nice fresh image. If we compare this to the older versions, we can see that it's very, very different to what we had before, uh, whereas the built-in preferences gave us a slightly accurate result, perhaps looking a bit green. Um, this RT Color Balance plugin allows us to get more granular controls over our white balance to make it look slightly more natural. This can be used on, of course, photos and videos to color correct, and it's a really good tool, and it's, of course, free, and I highly suggest you download it and use it if you're using Final Cut Pro 10. This is Barry from Copper vs Glass and I'll catch you guys in the next video.